Hey, what's up guys? I have my vacations going on right now. My exams just got over and what that means is I have a lot of time to talk with you guys and interact and do all of these video stuff. Uh, by the way, this semester has been really hectic as for most of you. This year has been quite a ride. I started off with 200 subscribers at the starting of the year and ended up getting 82,000 subscribers right now, which is just incredible. Thanks a lot for that. Not only that, but this semester wasn't normal. Like most of you, even my semester was online and I feel really bad for students in their first year of college because this was my third year in college, right? But for people in first year of college, dude, first year of college is the most fun and if you did not get to experience first year and if you just had to attend online classes then I feel really sorry for you guys but hopefully your second year should be even more fun and maybe you get to get on campus. The semester was hectic. Now in all I gave more than 100 exams. By exams I mean quizzes, labs, you know lab reports, things like final exams, things like uh, you know term exams, term 1, term 2, term 3 exams. Overall, it was more than 100 evaluative components and this made my life pretty hectic because every single week I had to give at least one component. In all honesty, at the end of the semester, like I think for the last month of the semester, I was very demotivated. I did not feel like going for classes. I was mostly in my bed and I bunked a lot of classes. I slept through them and ended up watching all the videos at 2x right before the exam and I'm pretty sure most of you also did something similar because online semester, I don't know, it just takes up a lot of your mental power you know, watching Zoom classes, Google Meet classes I, I don't know, I just don't, I don't, I just don't feel comfortable in fact, during a lot of my uh, classes I opened a new tab and started watching YouTube videos also, one more thing that I learned was watching videos at 2x helps now, I don't know if this works, I think all college lectures should be recorded and then you should be given the recordings, like even during normal semesters. Because I watched a lot of videos at 2x a night before the exam and I think I was able to perform decent, I'm not saying I'm a topper, I'm not saying I'm above average, but I was able to get average marks by just watching these videos at 2x right before exam. And it's, it's quite a good technique, right? I saved a lot of time by not attending lectures and then got decent marks. Hope no professor is watching that I might get sued for saying this. Also, I got to learn a couple of new things. I picked up a few skills like Node.js. I learned how to do a, a bit of backend. I got really interested in JavaScript. I'm trying to learn a bit of React. But yeah, right now I'm a bit more comfortable with web development versus me trying to learn web development, you know, back in college. So I got a lot of time to pick up these new skills, right? I, uh, there's a tool called Canva. I know it's a very easy to use tool, but I got so much time that I sort of mastered learning that. Now coming to college courses, right? Uh, I'm studying electronics and electric, oh wait, I'm studying electronics and communication engineering. Uh, so this year we had a lot of communication courses, things like communication systems, uh, you know, mobile telecom networks, uh, you know, electromagnetic field and and I know these courses aren't very interesting but I learned a very important tool and it's called MATLAB. Our college gave us the MATLAB license. MATLAB is really expensive if you buy it individually but our college gave, gave us the license and I think most colleges do give MATLAB licenses. I learned MATLAB which is a super cool tool, right? You know, when I started learning MATLAB, I was like, why have we been learning math for the past 12 years when I could have simply used MATLAB? Doing metrices, doing, you know, maybe something like convolution becomes so easy on MATLAB. Drawing graphs, be it anything, anything that includes mathematics becomes super easy on MATLAB. So, yeah, I don't know why we have been learning formulas and crazy stuff in the past. Maybe it's to get our basics and foundations set, but yeah, MATLAB made my life very easy. And also you can do a lot of simulations on MATLAB. So you, you know, you can build things like basic circuits and then sort of simulate and see how it works. Uh, there are also machine learning and AI, AI libraries in MATLAB. So uh, if you're interested in that, you can give that a shot. Highly recommend it. There's an open source uh, alternative for MATLAB called Octave. You can try using that even that's a cool tool. Uh, now at BITS we have something called Humanities, which means that apart from your core engineering courses, you can also take some really creative courses like uh, I took up a course called effective public speaking and man that course just kept me occupied I wish it was happening physically because that way I, I would have you know walked up and given a speech in front of the entire class but over here it was in front of the computer uh, but it was an amazing class because I was put in a lot of uncomfortable situations and I love unco uncomfortable situations that's when you know there's an adrenaline rush you start thinking too much you you see what your next move should be and it's it's really fun 
So, you know, there, there were impromptu speeches where the teacher used to give you a random topic and you had to speak on it. And then there were group discussions, debates, and then, you know, just uh, introduction. You had to introduce yourself in a creative manner. All of these were interesting things uh, to do. And this was sort of my extracurricular for this semester. And it kept me occupied. So it's a highly recommended course. If, you, if your college has it, then do opt for it. If, if it has any public speaking course, opt for it because public speaking is a very important skill. It helps you a lot when you, when you, you know, move, move along in life. Even when you are working in corporates, you got to give a lot of presentations and uh, being confident in speaking publicly and being able to come up with really quick thoughts and speaking them out helps. The second creative subject that I took was called eco-criticism. We were just taught to criticize nature, critique nature. Now critique, critique as in critique is more of an analysis of nature, right? Uh, we were taught to respect the things that were happening around us, how wildlife works, and how fascinating wildlife actually is, right? We were shown tons of documentaries about, you know, uh, cows eating plastic, taking shorter showers, uh, you know, and then there were some documentaries about Amazon forests, about how the ecosystem and biodiversity over there works and how incredible it is. Uh, maybe I'll link a couple of those documentaries down. And then at the end, we had to make a project. And this project was a documentary. So we had to film a documentary so my friends and I, we, I mean, they were at the native places and they filmed a documentary and the documentary was about composting. If you guys don't know what composting is, it's taking organic waste, putting it in a pit and then making manure out of it. We had to make a documentary about it, the nuances of it. So we took interviews of farmers and things like that. I linked the documentary down below. It wasn't, was a good documentary. We worked pretty hard on it. But yeah, the teacher gave us average grades, not amazing grades. And that was my online semester. I wouldn't say it was very interesting. I wouldn't say it was very boring either. And if I was, see, I honestly feel that, you know, all colleges should have 0% attendance, even if it's physical or even if it's online. At BITS, we did have 0% attendance, which gave me a lot of flexibility to do things that I like. For example, making these videos or, you know, learning to code. Uh, even next semester is gonna be online. Uh, you know, the thing with Goa is that since my college is in Goa, we have people from around across India coming in and what that means is even if they open up college no one's gonna come because if, if it was a local college then you know people from uh, around the college would come in but since it's a very diverse college since people from across India come to that college uh, it, I don't think they'll be opening it up very soon all right so until then I am at home I am sp I'll be speaking to this camera I'll be making some videos and hopefully you'll get something to learn. Do let me know how your online semester was, which college you're studying in, and if you're enjoying it or not, and give some reasons about why uh, you're enjoying it or not. And I'll see you in the next one. Take care, bye. And finally, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year.